Welcome, Mad Assassins, to another incredible tactical tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys that have email lists how you can use those and leverage those inside of Facebook. Now, you guys could be using these email lists for two different reasons. One, you could be using them to retarget them to purchase a different product or type of insurance for whatever you're selling. Or number two, you could be taking your customers, people that have already bought from you, and you're gonna create a lookalike audience from them to get more people like them to drastically increase your conversions. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that step by step right now. <laughs> So let's go ahead and hop into our business manager here. And to do this, it's really, really simple. You go up to this top left hand corner, go to the all tools section, and we are going to go to, let's see, custom audiences is right there, audiences. Okay, so from here, we're just going to hit this create a custom audience button. And this is going to walk us through everything. So. You guys can see all of the resources you guys can actually use to create a custom audience. Uh, you have website traffic, which is your pixel. You have video views, lead form, stuff like that. Today, we're just gonna be focusing on customer file. So go ahead and click on customer file. Then you have a few options here. You can import from MailChimp. Uh, you can use LTV, which is lifetime value. I would not recommend going with either of those. I would just straight up load up your, your fold or your file without the LTV because uh, we're just trying to run ads to them. That's a very nice feature, but it's getting super complex more th so than we really need. Okay, so let's go ahead and select our data source here. We can go directly from customers, directly from partners. We want directly from our customers. Advertisements collect information directly from the customers. Always choose that one, okay? Always use that one. Now we need a CSV or a TXT file. So I have my sample list up here, uh, and here is what it looks like. So you have the first row is gonna indicate which uh, category these things fall in. So first name, last name, email, phone number, and then you see just a bunch of nonsense here. Do you want a CSV file? So if you are here in Excel, you could save as, and this is very easily converted to a CSV file by just hitting this button right here. Uh, so you see the CSV file, hit that, hit save, and boom, that's gonna save your CSV file. Okay, let's go back in here, and we're going to upload this file from here, from our desktop, which is email list two. Go ahead and choose that. Uh, so we have directly from customers, we have this loaded here. We can do our audience name, which I recommend you guys doing. So you could say audience for, uh, audience for retargeting and boom just like that we have now created our custom file here hit that next button and that's going to load and now you can see here uh, the rows basically populated into here so the email that looks good there that matched up with the email the phone number is right here and that matched up with phone number the first name and last name did not match so what you gotta do is just hit this drop down and find what category this falls into. So you can see the last name is there. Go ahead and hit the last name. First name is there. So go ahead and hit the first name, which is right there. Perfect. Upload and create. And it's gonna take a minute. And depending on how many you guys have, this can take like almost all day long to populate an audience. If you guys have thousands of people on this list, it takes a very, very long time. Now, when it's actually ready, it will say ready right there in green, okay? If it's not ready, so the size is not available, it's currently populating right now, but it's so low and it's not going to find any Jerry Moores with the email test email with this phone number, okay? So it's not going to give you an audience size with that. Now, if you guys have a thousand people and it's able to read, let's say 700 of them, because you have to remember, if I do Jerry Moore at test at gmail.com or Jerry Moore's work email, uh, and inside of my Facebook, I have Jerry Moore's personal email, 
Facebook may not be able to match those things up. So the more information and data you give Facebook, the better it's going to be able to actually hone in and find those people. All right, cool. So we have our custom list here and you guys need to have at least 100. I recommend more like 500 to even consider this a valuable option, okay? Because it's just gonna get too expensive and not very accurate. So we have our audience here for retargeting. Uh, and again, you guys should name it something better than this, maybe say from this sales list or whatever list, especially if you guys are gonna be making multiple of these audiences. All right, so let's go ahead and hit this create audience. And we didn't wanna create a lookalike audience now, okay? Now this is for you guys that are trying to use your current customers who have purchased things. You wanna use this lookalike audience in order to find other people that look like them. So that could be income wise, that could be demographic, that could be location, that could be interest, hobbies, whatever it is. You're going to take, basically take everything that's populated in that audience uh, for those people and create an audience that looks exactly like them. And using that, you can find some really, really good pockets of people in. So let's go ahead and create that lookalike audience and select your lookalike audience source. We're going to go, where is this here? Select a location, select audience size. Uh, okay, so we should be able to do that here, but if not, what we can do is we can click on this audience and I know we can create a lookalike right here. All right, so that's a simple way to do that. Audience, click on it, and then create lookalike just like that. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And we're gonna type this in as lookalike. Audience for retargeting, and again, this is just my, my, uh, my name that I chose here for you guys. It might be sales from quarter one, you know, something like that. All right, so that looks good. Hey, why did I not do that? Okay. Oh, sorry. Select your lookalike source. Sorry, that's not where you put the title in. Okay, just leave that there then. My bad, my bad. All right, select an audience location. This only goes by country, so we can't do, what we can't do is like Ohio or anything like that. That's okay because we can narrow our targeting down once we get inside of the Facebook advertising platform. So you'll choose the United States unless you're in Canada. You'll choose Canada there. And audience size. So here's where you're gonna see a bunch of different percentages, one all the way through 10. And this is basically what this is saying, is I'm going to create an audience that looks within 1% of the audience that you gave me. So if you gave them a customer list of 500 people, Facebook's gonna pull all the data points it has on those 500 people, and it's gonna find 2.2 million people across the United States that have the most data points in common. Okay, that's gonna be the top 1%. Now you can move this bar to 2%, 3%, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 10. And the reason they have this is because this data is not always necessarily perfect. So for example, your, your zero to 1% audience may not be the best audience for you. There might be other audiences that are better. And the way to select multiple audiences, which is what I like to do, is you can go here to this drop down menu and you can see one through six. Okay, so let's say that we want to do four audiences just for kicks and giggles. Let's do it like this. Pow. Pow. Okay, cool. That looks good. Let's do it like that. All right, cool. So I have four audiences that I've created. Look like audiences from the audience network that I gave them, the top 1%, from 1% to 2%, from 2% to 4%, from 4% to 8%. So you can see 2.2, 2.2, 4.3 2 million, 8.7 million, okay? These are estimates on the lookalike audience that you guys are creating. You hit create audience, that's gonna load here, and boom, there are your lookalike audiences. So it already labels it for you, which is great. So let's go ahead and get out of that. All right, perfect. So you can see the lookalike audience there. So audience for retargeting, that's your 1%, 1 to 2%, 4 to 8%, and 2 to 4%, just like that. Now I'm gonna show you guys really, really fast on where to put this in, just in case you guys don't know. This is really a simple solution to do this. You're gonna create your advertisement just as you have been. Okay, so we're gonna go into the business manager. You're gonna hit the little create button. That's all good and dandy. We're gonna fly through this because you guys have already done a lot of these, all right? 
Let's go to uh, let's go to lead generation. That's fine. Continue. All right. So in the ad set level, let's scroll down. There we are. Okay. Where it's in the audience section in the see ad set level audiences. Okay. That's where we're at right now. Custom audiences. There it is right there. Click on this. And there are your retargeting audiences right there. And there is your initial audience right there too. So if you guys are looking to actually use this list of emails to target people to cross sell them something else, you would select this audience. Now, if you guys were doing something to test out your audiences to try to find lookalike audiences, you would use these guys. And you guys can create multiple ad sets with different audiences to target it's really, really cool, really, really powerful. Again, I don't recommend just going with the 1%. I recommend testing multiple audiences when you're creating this lookalike because you never know. The only way to really know is to test, all right? That's all I got for you guys today. It's a wrap. I hope you guys got something really good from it. Uh, if you guys did, I appreciate any comments down in the comments section letting me know, yo, Jerry, this was good stuff. I want more of it, and I will do my best to get that to you guys. Have a beautiful day. Have a great start to the week. Peace.